Hi folks, welcome to another video from Mackenzie 4. This week I'm going to be doing what's in my camera bag. On any particular day, my camera bag will vary, but for this particular video, I'm going to use my biggest camera bag, which is a Lone Pro 500 AW, which I've got just inside, and it's absolutely massive. It doesn't even fit in the shot there. Um, and in that I can carry the most amount of gear that I'll take with me um, when I'm travelling out and about just doing some shoots and some videos. Um, usually if I'm taking that I won't be straying far away from the car just from the amount of gear that's in the bag. Um, but depending on what I'm doing I do have multiple bags that I'll go in the car if I'm doing an indoor shoot where I've got to set up lights and stuff as well. But today I'm just focusing on what I carry with me if I'm going out into the field. I also have um, a Manfrotto 0550 tripod with an X-Pro head. I can't remember the exact name for it, but it's just the aluminium version. It's not the ca carbon fiber version um, because quite simply, I can't afford that kind of stuff. So I'm going to open up the bag and start pulling things and showing you what I've got. So in the main compartment of the bag, I've obviously got my main shooting camera which is the Fujifilm 100S which I've been putting up loads of videos about obviously it's a beast of a camera I love it to bits and I'm still learning things about it every single day um, I've not done a proper client shoot um, this these past couple of years because I've been unable to work due to having cancer um, I've been getting a few trolls lately that have been commenting on my videos about the lack of quality of my work Obviously if I was doing something for a client, it'd be very different, things would be planned out rather than me going out, just roaming about and just taking a lot of time, a lot a lot of time to some snapshots for me to have fun personally. But um, yeah, this will be getting used for client shoots once I've gotten over the cancer, um, which should be happening in the next couple of months. But yeah, I've got the 45mm f2.8 on it just now. That's what I mainly use just for weight um, because the, lenses, the native lenses that you do get from Fujifilm are incred incredibly heavy but there's a reason for that, the amount of glass that's in them. I'm also using, I usually use a 64 gig SD card. That one was before I dropped it. Um, what ones are these? These are the Integral Ultima. I've got Kingston ones as well, and they're all the V90 version, so I get fast transfer. The other lens that I use is the 45 to 100 f4 from Fujifilm. Again, it's another native lens. Um, I haven't got many. I haven't got any other lenses at the moment, just because of the price of these. But the next one I'll be looking to get is probably the macro lens, or possibly the 110 or the. A. There, there isn't many lenses still out for the VG because it's still, uh, f I think it's only a four year old system, but they're away to bring out another camera which is the GFX 50S Mark II, which will be even cheaper than this one was. So hopefully they'll be bringing out a few more lenses with that. And hopefully I'll be able to buy some more, but could, these are fantastic lenses. Um, Obviously Fuji have spent a lot of time and money in R&D in these and you can see when you look at the colours and the quality that comes from these lenses. What I've also got is this little thing, the Fuji Osmo Action Cam. That's what I use a lot of time when I'm in the field. I record a lot of videos on this. The microphone on it's pretty good as long as it's not a lot of wind and you'll see a lot of videos that I'll be using this and when I'm out in the field shooting, rather than setting up the microphone on the Fuji GFX, because I only try and carry one camera, one major camera at a time, um, basically, because that's all I've got. It's not due to not wanting to. A lot of the time it's due to weight and cost and stuff like that. So yeah, this is what I shoot a lot of the video stuff on when I'm out in the field. Um, also, I've got a drone now, which you've probably seen a few videos on. I've got the Air 2S. Um, and it comes with a new smart controller and I got the fly mode combo so I've got three batteries with it. Um, again, I'm still learning with this, it's the first drone I've ever had. It's absolutely fantastic, I love using it. And I want to do, there's a series that I want to do on it um, around this time of year in Scottish farming where they do the harvest so I want to try and get a lot of drone shots looking down on the vehicles doing that, especially in the area that I'm in, but it's just timing I haven't been able to manage to get out to get a lot of the shots yet. So hopefully in the next month I'll be getting a lot more shots to do with that and I'll bring you a video on it. 
I've also got a couple of extension tubes for the Fuji GFX 100S. Um, these aren't Fuji ones, these are Vilrox or whatever it's called. And they're okay, they're not the best in the world. Um, the performance with extension tubes, as you'd expect, is, is okay, it's not perfect. Um, but until I can save it for the macro lines, these have to do for kind of close up work. But again, it's not as versatile as a macro lens would be. These have a very, very shallow, shallow depth of field. Um, they work okay, it just, it just depends on what you're doing, what their, what their capabilities are. But again, I'll talk about that in another video. I've also got this, my Siconic Light Mirror. I've had this for over 10 years. It's a fantastic piece of kit. I've used it for film, I've used it for digital. I'll never give up using this. Um, you'll understand if you've had one of these, these are far superior at reading light than the sensors that are in camera because that's all they're designed to do is read the amount of light that you're getting. It gives you an accurate reading. Again, just a fantastic piece of kit and also extremely lightweight um, and they're not that expensive for what they are. Now, I've seen a lot of videos on NAR boxes and stuff and they're wonderful pieces of kit. I can't afford a NAR box, so what I've got is a RAV power, um, it's a power bank and it can transfer to an SSD. It's very slow though, so it will slowly transfer your files um, across to the hard drive from your SSD. So if I'm away on a trip for a few days, I'll take this rather than taking a laptop and it just saves a bit of weight in the backpack and stuff. Absolutely fantastic piece of kit for not a lot of money, but again, it's very, very slow. The latest thing that I've bought is the Goodox V1 flash um, for the Fuji. Obviously they come for all brands, they're all differently synced for each brand, but this is the Fuji one. Um, I've not had a chance to use this, it only arrived, I think yesterday, uh, two days ago it arrived. So I've not had a chance to use this yet. I also got the accessory kit, so I've got all the little things that came that you can get with it, like a snood and stuff, and I've got some gels. So it'll be interesting to see what I can create with that next time I get to do a portrait shoot. Um, apart from some batteries and stuff and some filters, that's pretty much what's in the main compartment of my camera bag. I've also got one of these, a uh, Getso bottle rocket, um, well, a Getso rocket um, air duster. Fantastic piece of kit, would highly recommend getting one of these. It's durable as all many hell. I know you can get the cheap ones, but this one actually does blow Hell is strong. In the front compartment of the bag, what I do have is a Rode VideoMic Pro and a hard case for it, basically because I don't want to get damaged. So this little hard case keeps it nice and safe when it's in the front of the bag, because the front of the bag doesn't have a lot of padding. So if I'm having anything in there, I'll generally um, put it in a hard shell case. And that keeps it pretty safe and secure. I've never had any problems with it. What I also have is um, a little pop out triangular reflector for when I'm doing video shoots, uh, when I'm doing portrait shoots. Um, it's just a handy little one, just gold and silver, and I can use that solo. Um, it's, again, not an expensive piece of kit. I can, it's not even branded. I bought it off Amazon for, I think, about 15 quid, which was a good deal at the time. I know they're probably cheaper now, with the surge of every Chinese um, small brand that you can never pronounce. So yeah, reflector in there. I also have a set of step ring filters because I tend to buy the biggest um, sized filter I can and then use these to step down on lenses um, rather than me having to buy multitudes of filters when there's not actually a real need for it because you can get these really cheap. All that's really left in that camera bag is I've got some batteries, I've got some spare masks because we're still in Scotland um, mandated by wearing masks and I've got a pen knife. It's actually surprisingly handy when you've got a pen knife but that's generally what I carry in my camera bag. So that's basically what's in my camera bag. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the bits of kit I've got. I've built this up over many years and sold things and bought things to change the kit out. It's not something I just bought overnight. It took me many, many years to build it up to what it is now. Um, 
So I hope you enjoyed it. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Now, as some of you know, I've also got a shop on my website. I'm going to put a discount code up and you can use that if you want to buy any apparel, so fuck cancer or any Mackenzie photo stuff. Um, as you know, I do have cancer. I do have a GoFundMe going. Um, again, all the links are in the description. And please, 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 whatever you do, please, check yourself for cancer if you're guys or girls check your bits and bobs make sure there's no lumps or anything new or strange there and if there is please go and check out check get yourself checked out sorry about that um but yeah anything that you suspect might be cancer please go and get it checked out um, and i've just realized throughout this whole video i've probably been looking at the screen at the side of the camera because i'm using my son's um, little camera to do this video because obviously I can't do it on my one while it's in the camera bag but um, yeah I'll shut up now thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video take care